In this video, we're going to be talking about the Halo Infinite equipment and its upgrade system. What does each equipment do? What does each upgraded level do? How to upgrade them? And where to find these pieces of equipment? So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another tips and tricks video when it comes to Halo Infinite. The campaign just launched. I'm sure you have a lot of questions about the equipment, which is returning from Halo 3. And there's some really interesting RPG-like elements with this that you really want to take advantage of, especially in those later boss fights. This equipment are going to be crucial for your success. So if you like these tips and tricks kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button, guys. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into the content here. So I'm sure the main question is, where do I find equipment? Well, you find equipment by playing some missions within Halo Infinite. You can't find these Spartan Core-like equipment pieces in the open world. They're all tied to missions. So as you play through the campaign, you'll be unlocking more equipment. And each bit of equipment has tiers of unlocks you can do to improve it. And the way you improve that equipment is by using Spartan Cores. You can find these Spartan Cores throughout the open world. They are located on your TAC map as well. And those locations are revealed as you capture more forward operating bases. So the more side missions that you do, the more powerful your character becomes, the more unlocks you can do. So this next section we're going to go over what each piece of equipment does, what each upgrade does, and I'll also provide some suggestions of what equipment you should upgrade first. So let's start off with the first bit of equipment that you earn within Halo Infinite, that is the Grapple Shot. And this is one of the most important tools of the sandbox for all the equipment you unlock. Rank one is just the Grapple Shot, pretty straightforward. Rank two of the Grapple Shot allows a stun effect when you grapple onto enemies. This is very useful against lower tier enemies. They don't work against higher tier enemies, so keep that in mind. The third tier is the quick shot, which reduces the cooldown by 40%. This one is absolutely needed if you're trying to traverse high tier mountains and also utilize it against shielded jackals. What you could do is actually shoot the shield. It'll stun the mech. You can hit him for a headshot pretty easy. Now rank four is super fun. It provides a powerful shockwave blast when holding melee while grappling onto an enemy. This is just like... I highly suggest unlocking this one just because it's so much fun to do. And the highest rank of that, it does the same thing and it just increases the blast radius and damage of that shockwave and enemies within that blast radius are stunned as well. So this allows you to be super aggressive with your gameplay in Halo Infinite. The second core you unlock is the shield core. This one is the most straightforward one, but also still rather useful as each tier will increase your shielding by 15%. So effectively allowing you to take more damage, again, very useful towards the end of the game. Next, we have the Threat Sensor. This one is actually specifically suggested by Joseph Staten at 343, saying that a fully upgraded one is quite useful. So let's see why. So Tier 1 allows you to have the Threat Sensor. It allows you to see enemies through walls. This is very useful on higher tier difficulties as well. Tier 2 allows the Threat Sensor Detection Radius to be 50% larger. Now, for my initial playthrough, I did get up to this rank, which allows you to have a second charge to that Threat Sensor. Tier 4 reduces the cooldown by 40%. Tier 5 is a really good one. It says, adds uninterrupted enemy visibility to the threat sensor and reveals their health. This is going to be super useful against those camoed elites that are pretty difficult to fight against. Now what seems to be like the bastard child of the group, the drop wall, is still very useful and this is what it does when you rank it up. Tier 1 allows you to have the drop wall. Tier 2 reduces the drop wall cooldown by 20%. And then Tier 3, it increases the strength of the drop wall by 35%. That's quite the boost. Tier 4 is when things get really interesting where it increases the strength by 70% and increases the wall size. The last one's very interesting as it adds shock damage to any projectile fired through the drop wall. So basically, if you have a maxed out drop wall, you can hide behind it, shoot enemies, and stun them at the same time, which is super useful in shooters. And lastly, we have the thruster, which can be pretty straightforward, but also very useful at the same time. Tier one just basically gives you like the Halo 5 thruster that we had. Then if you get rank two, it adds a second thruster charge there, which again, very useful to help evasion. Uh, tier three is where things get interesting, where it reduces the cooldown by 20%. Tier 4, though, adds significant power to the thruster, allowing further and faster travel. The top tier 1 is where a lot of people are going to be utilizing it, as it adds personal cloak effect to thruster, lasting 4 seconds after the activation. Basically allowing you to use the thruster, go to camo, get behind them, get that back smack. Pretty dang easy. And when you have two thruster charges that are reduced by 20% on the cooldown, you can use it quite often. So that's everything you need to know about the equipment in Halo Fitness campaign. Jump in, play around with it, see what works for you. It's a ton of fun, guys. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos I'm uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.